you ready? Football is on its way back and that's good enough reason to get excited even in these troubled times. Well, the Belarusian Premier League was the only top flight league which was functional and unfazed really by the coronavirus but all other leagues including the top five in Europe were indefinitely postponed about a couple of months ago. Now, bad news is that the French authorities have confirmed a few days ago that the League One season has been ended prematurely. In fact, there will be no sporting events in France until September. And there is no confirmation on when the Premier League or La Liga is going to return either. But the good news is that Serie A and Bundesliga are all set to resume again. Now, there's still a while before we see the Serie A back in action which will be on the 13th of June but the Bundesliga restarts this coming weekend on the 16th of May and since this is the only league to look forward to at the moment let's have a look at how things are currently poised before we even get to the football though it's important to take note of some of the extreme measures that are going to be taken in order to ensure safety as football resumes in Germany players will be tested twice a week Three team buses will be used to ensure social distancing. Players will enter the field of play separately and there will be no handshakes before or after the game. Unusual for football, but that's how it is in these unprecedented times. A total of 322 people will be allowed in the stadium and that includes everybody. The team, which means the players, the coach, the staff, uh, the media team, the medical team, everybody. Since that's out of the way now, let's have a look at the top half of the league table and this is how things stand. No real surprises at the top of the tree with the usual suspects involved but it is unusually tight this time with just 8 points separating the top 5. After a slow start, Bayern Munich are back on track. Since Hansi Flick took over from Niko Kovac, Bayern have won 12 of their 15 league games and they are leading the way now well on course for an 8th consecutive Bundesliga title. But of the 9 games that are left to play, they still have to face 3 of the top 5 including Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen away from home. So well maybe there's the twist in the tale that we're all looking for. And that brings us to the bottom half of the league table. Dart your eyes there to 17th position. That's right, Werder Bremen, who are Bundesliga regulars, are fighting a relegation battle this time. They haven't been relegated since the 1980s and also have four Bundesliga titles to their name. They have some real work cut out if they have to dig themselves out of this hole as they are placed just above Paderborn, who are playing in the German top flight for the very first time. And that brings us to the players to watch out for. As expected, Robert Lewandowski is leading the race for the Golden Boot with 25 goals. Just behind him though is Timo Werner with 21 goals for RB Leipzig. Thomas Muller looks like a player reborn under Hansi Flick. He has 16 assists to his name, better only by Kevin De Bruyne in any of Europe's top 5 leagues. Jadon Sancho is having the time and the season of his life at Dortmund and now he's also got a new partner in crime in Erling Haaland who has taken the Bundesliga by storm really scoring 9 times in just 8 games. Well and what about the games that we have to look forward to this coming weekend? The Bundesliga returns and it returns with a bang with the mother of all derbies the black and yellows taking on the Royal Blues. It's Dortmund against Schalke. That's the most awaited game this weekend. Two teams separated by 27 kilometers and there is certainly no love lost between these two. Now, of course, this derby will be played behind closed doors, which means there will be no fans in the stadium. And football games, especially derbies, are never the same without the fans packing the stadium. But it is what it is in the current situation. Let's just be grateful that we have some football to look forward to.